Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Where uh, do I begin? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. I swear to God, every single time I watch the news, it's almost always outlandish about a murder and the world is falling apart. I swear, human beings are insufferable creatures. Can we not go throughout an entire day without fucking something up? But alas, that's impossible because people themselves are just, you know, born that way. So what happened was that white supremacists and white nationalists and so on, they went to Virginia with freaking tiki torches. And the main reason why they're there? Well, apparently to, you know, unite the right. The best way to represent an entire political group is to get the worst kind of people out there. I definitely want to be with people who are neo-Nazis and white supremacists and be associated with that group because we need to unite the right with racist ideas, ideas that are reprehensible, but somehow, you know, we have to unite them some way. But hey, you never know because those white supremacists might have some good taste. I mean, after all, they had the freaking tiki torches, so they might know a thing or two about Hawaii and get grind on by the hula girls. Hula, 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 white, the white, the white, the white, the white, the white, the power. So, the next day, Antifa and those neo Nazis and those white supremacists, they met up in daylight, then out of nowhere, a freaking car just went by and just hit somebody. Apparently there were like three people that died and about 17 injured. However, they managed to catch the bastard, so well done cops. You guys are the best, you know. Absolutely the best. Keep up the great work. So the question then becomes, well who is to blame for this incident? First and foremost, the white supremacists, the neo-Nazis, and the white nationalists, they have agency on what they do and what not to do and they decided to take it upon themselves to hurt other people for their cause. And because they have repulsive ideology and reprehensible actions, I obviously disown the neo-Nazis, the white supremacists, and other races there. Although I condemn the white nationalists and neo-Nazis and the white supremacists, I also believe that the left, in particular the far left, is also to blame. Like I mentioned earlier, Antifa was also at the event and caused chaos and destruction and mayhem. And because it caused as much chaos and destruction as, say, the white supremacists and the neo-Nazis, I say they're actually as guilty as those people there. Not only that, but I also blame the chain of events that allowed this event to happen in Virginia. For years, and years, and years, and years, the progressive left call white people racist all the time, that every single white person's racist, that white people deserve genocide, and constantly, constantly attack people for being white. Not only that, but the months and months and months of Antifa just beating the shit out of people, you can say that white people have a probably, you know, a reason why they were pissed to go radicalize. When you have media that constantly bash white people, when you have colleges that has all whiteness day that also bash white people, when you call people Nazis and racists over and over and over again, do you really guys not expect somebody or a group of people to get radicalized? Again, this is not justifying their radicalization, but explaining the chain of events that led to it. Also, just like with the white supremacists that use this car to kill people, basically Black Lives Matter inspired a sniper event in Texas and even light a guy on fire for being white and a journalist. So in my opinion, both groups are guilty. Both groups have blood on their hand, and fuck both groups. These chains of events is not necessarily right versus love. It's authoritarians versus libertarians. 
If we continue to demonize each other, nothing will ever be achieved by demonizing each other. I encourage healthy dialogue, I encourage disagreement, and for the love of God, I do not encourage violence. Until next time, you guys, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.